Hi, welcome to Graphics Card Repairs. My name is Fraser and today we have an Asus Staff RTX 3090 that wasn't getting detected. Let's dive and see what the issue was. First, let's take a closer look at the GPU. Here it is, the Asus Staff RTX 3090. A powerful card, but unfortunately, it's not being detected. To get started, I need to dismantle the GPU and check the resistances on various voltage rails. Let's measure the resistance on the 12 volts, 5 volts, 1.8 volts, PEX, and 12 volts PCIe. I did not bother to check further as during the check, we found that the 1.8 volt rail is reading low resistance, but it's not dead. So let's connect my Tiffin box power supply and inject some voltage. A big thanks to Tony from Northwest Repair for sharing the diagrams and other stuff to really design this power supply. Well, the Tiffin box was my idea, so I didn't have a 3D printer, so Tiffin box it is. The next step is to test the voltages. I connect my Tiffin box power supply to the GPU to test the voltages. This step is crucial to ensure that all power lines are delivering the correct voltages. Let's find out what we are missing. I'll be checking the same points as I did to check the resistance. So I started off with 12 volts, 5 volts, 1.8 volts, 12 volts PCIe, PEX, and go. Again, I did not bother to check the memory as all voltages are present and our fault is with something that's connected to the 1.8 volt line. To diagnose further, I probed the PEX reset in diode mode only to find the reading very low. That's when I understood that the fault is some chip that is connected to the 1.8 and the PEX reset line. That chip is an end gate. I trace the location of the end gate only to find that there is nothing installed there. Since there's nothing installed here, there should be another end gate somewhere else. I just need to find it. After hunting for the second end gate, I finally found it. When I tested it, I got similar readings as before in diode mode. I connected my power supply and tested the voltages. The inputs are present, but the output on the end gate is missing. This indicates that the end gate is faulty and needs to be replaced. To fix this issue, I'll replace the faulty end gate with the one from my donor board. This one is not exactly the same manufacturer, but it will do the same job.
The angle that I was working in was a bit awkward, but I still managed to secure this end gate in place. Some extra touch up ensured that this chip wasn't going anywhere. With the new end gate in place, I checked the resistance and it was back to normal. I also checked the resistance on the 1.8 volt inductor just to clear my doubts. Now that we've replaced the faulty component, it's time to see if the GPU is detected. Moment of truth. There you go. There it is. The GPU is detected and we have an image on the screen. With the GPU detected, I'll now reassemble it and run some stress tests to ensure it's stable and functioning properly. Once reassembled, I placed the GPU back on the test bench and booted into Windows and ran some stress tests. First, I made sure that the drivers were installed and installed properly. Then I ran Fermark just to ensure that our card is stable. I also ran Superposition just to make sure everything was okay. And I also ran Heavens. So just to make sure that our clocks are boosting high enough. So the test results are positive and the GPU is now stable. I hope you enjoyed this GPU repair and found it helpful. If you did, there are a few ways you can support the channel. First, if you'd like to show your appreciation, please hit the thanks button below the video. Your support keeps this channel running and allows me to create more content like this. You can also click the join button to become a channel member. Your membership helps support the channel and I'll be working on providing exclusive content and perks for members in the coming days. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Sharing this video helps others discover the channel and subscribing ensures you won't miss any future repair videos. Your support means the world to me and helps the channel grow. 
thank you once again i'll see you in my next video bye for now cheers